Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today I was kind of browsing through this Lovables integration docs, right? And I stumbled upon this one over here, um, which is from their main page. It's not from their docs. And I was reading through some of their integrations, their highlighted integrations, because they have much more that you can use. But I saw this one, Runware, and I've actually never seen this before. And basically what Runware is, is it's this generative AI um, tool that generates AI images, right? It has different types of models. So all these models include Flux Schnell, um, Flux Dev, SD, so Stable Diffusion 3, Stable Diffusion XL, and Stable Diffusion 1.5. And you can kind of get like a little preview of how each one looks like. And um, you can basically integrate this to your Lovable app, which is pretty insane. And if I go down over here to Features, um, you can also read a little bit more. You can do text to image, image to image, background removal, upscaling, in painting, out painting. So in this case, we're going to do the simple one text to image, but I just want to kind of show you uh, briefly how, how the connection is between Lovable to, to this tool, Runware. And uh, so you guys can create something for your own, right? So if that's something exciting for you, let's get started. So what I created was actually this, it's called Imagispark. And well, before you actually reach here, you have to add the API key, which you can find over here in Runware. It is, I'm using a trial version of this, but basically with the trial, you can use this. Um, so just make sure to verify your email address before you create an API key. And I created one called test and basically just pasted it here. I had like a little form um, before that you can paste your API key. And then once you have that, you have this nice little interface, very simple. You can write um, a family of koalas, right? So, and you can, that's a simple way. You can also click advanced and you can choose this, the type of size, right? We can put like a square size and controls how closely the image follows your prompt. So higher values stick more strictly to your prompt. So we can put a very high value and see what that does. And very quickly, it generates something this looks a little bit weird, so we can go a little bit downwards. Maybe that, that's better. But uh, it basically generates a little family of koalas, right? Looks very cute. Looks, you know, pretty realistic. And we can copy this, copy this prompt, or download the image, which is pretty cool, right? So this is what I want to do, and I want to kind of show you really quickly how I managed to create this, how I managed to connect this with, with um, this tool, with Runware. And what are the what are other things that we can do to optimize this little app? Because this is pretty simple, right? There's a bunch of tools out there that do this, but what can we do that, that can be a little bit different, right? So it's actually pretty crazy how easy it was to generate this first, you know, interface, right? Again, it's just a page and and there's no authentication, there's no payment, there's nothing advanced. It's a very, very simple app, but it's pretty crazy how you can just do this with one prompt. So you can even do this with the free lovable version. So I just said, using Runway API, make an image generator app. Just like that, that's what all I said. So it gave me this nice response and then it told me what it does. It says, what's next? Refine and customize. So tweak the designs, master prompting, right? We can do that. We can adjust the prompting, maybe add a few different features. That's kind of what I'm thinking about expand with backend so connect superbase to add authentication uh, github sync transfer your project to projects code to github debug with ease and add product knowledge so maybe set key context or custom instructions you want to include in every deed every edit in this pro project so again there's a few other things there was a, a little error um, that i had to fix and another thing that i did here but at the end it kind of works now and um yeah, again, basically what I did here was I created an API key. The Lovable automatically added some form for me to add the API key. And basically I added it and I could add a text and generate it, right? So that's basically the first version. So what can we do next? Now, something that we could potentially do next is add something in the advanced prompt um, section, some extra category that basically um, chooses the type of style of image. So let's say that you want to generate a family of koalas, but it's going to be in a style of oil painting or in a style of a cartoon, like Simpsons kind of cartoon style, or 
in a color book style that it's all black and white with just outlines so that you can basically save this image and print it out and give it to your kid or something like that. So let's just do that. Let's add a few more categories that we can add to this, maybe not the advanced, but maybe above the, the input field so that um, the user can just select one of these and the output, the image output would be based on that specific category that they select. So I wrote, so above the describe the image you want to generate field, I want you to have three categories that match different styles of images that the AI should generate. Style one, color book. There should be only black and white images with, out, with outlines, similar to a color book. So very simple, not so detailed. Style two, Simpson style. The characters and objects that the users generate should look like, um, should look like they are part of the Simpsons cartoons. Style three, oil painted. The generated image should look like it's oil painted. Very, very simple. So let's just submit that. So basically it created something here and I can select one of these and I can just select one, which is great. Now what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and update this published link. And once we're on this published link, just make sure to refresh and we go down here and let's just select a coloring book. So a family of koalas, right? Let's generate this and let's see. Okay, great. It's actually doing it perfectly. So let's just do Simpson style generate. And <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but it, like these koalas do look like they are part of the Simpsons. So oil painted generate and boom. So let's, instead of putting a family of koala, put a koala and a beach background. Let's put the Simpsons style. I'm interested to see how that looks like. Okay. That's a koala from the Simpsons. That's looking great. And how does it look like with a coloring book? Awesome. So we got that first part covered. It's looking amazing. So now going back to Runware's website, you can go to their features, right? And you can see different things. So we have not only text to image like we're doing, we also have image to image or background removal or upscaling or in painting or out painting. So some things that I am interested in are these three. So background removal, upscaling and in painting, right? So let's try to do, let's try to do this background removal. So, um, I'm going to go back here and write once the image is generated, add a button next to the copy prompt. Add, or I'm just going to say very general, not even add a location, add a button that allows the user to upscale the image. Then once the user clicks on this, use runware to upscale that image. So let's just submit this. So now according to Lovable, it says I've added an upscale image functionality that allows users to enhance their generated images. The upscale button appears in the image controls when hovering over a generated, generated image alongside the existing download and copy prompt. So it already kind of read my mind. So when clicked, it sends an upscale request to Runware API and displays the enhanced image when completed. Okay, so let's go here. Let's refresh this. Let's write a rubber ducky, a rubber ducky, Simpson style generate. And we have a rubber ducky that kind of looks like Bard. That's cool. And we don't have anything here. I don't really see some type of, um, button it says it's supposed to be here, but I don't really see it. And I don't see it on the right side either. So, um, I'm just going to refresh a rubber duck Simpson style generate. Okay. So I don't get it. Let me just see if this is actually working. 
so guess it is. Um, I do not see the upscale button anywhere. I'm just going to write it down like that and see what it says. So I did forget to publish and update this, so that's why it wasn't working. But now um, this is going over here. So you have this copy prompt, you have the download, and you have this one. So it says invalid, invalid value for input image parameter. The input must be selected. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take a screenshot of this and give this... To lovable so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this once I click on the button to upscale I get this response so it's basically working with an AI uh, an AI developer so to say so I'm starting to get new error co codes I got this one now I just fed it into lovable again. So I'm just going to put an old man Simpson style generate. And I'm here in the side, just making sure that everything is fine. So I have like 50 images remaining. So that's good because I am using the trial version and upscaling image. And something didn't work. So I've updated the upscale request to upscale factor instead of upscale size. This should fix the error. So I'm going to say once the image starts, um, once the image, uh, okay, I'm going to put this, the, the screen turns white after attempting to upscale based on your last prompt. So let's just click enter and see maybe there's some type of output that wasn't been built yet. Okay, and now it does seem to work. So if I click on this history, you can see, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is, we can switch and this image is, is upscaled for sure. This one looks a little bit more pixeled and this is like really nice and kind of looks vectored. So that's, that's cool to have. You also have this history thing over here, which is great. Um, now, uh, that was kind of one of the uh, features that we can add. So we have, we still have like around 45 generations left. So by the way, um, and lovable, I th yeah, we, we, we did around 10 prompts. So you would need a paid version of lovable, but you're just seeing how valuable this, this tool is. And it's definitely worth paying for, I would say. So we did upscaling, we could do in painting. So um, we could, let's add that for, or we can do background removal. Um, doesn't matter. Let's just start with one. So now I just, I'm going to try the in painting solution. So it says once the image is generated, let's add an in painting feature for the user to in paint in the general generated image. Use the runware API for this. So yeah, let's just see. We're going step by step. We created the first app. Um, we created these different categories, these image styles right over here. Uh, we created the upscale solution and now let's try this. So let's go ahead and try this in painting solution. So let's write um, a living room, right? A living room in the Simpson style or let's put coloring book style, generate this. And now we have something here, draw on areas you want to change so basically this is kind of empty but let's just draw somewhere over here draw on areas you want to change and let's put a dog so I can't really see anything so let's just apply this so it's kind of broken I mean the interface is good but this is kind of broken so my so I'm just going to give this to lovable and say the in painting draw the in painting area or drawing area or brush in painting brush slash eraser area is gray I cannot brush 
or erase nor view the image so let's just click this and see how that goes so now i'm getting something so let's just write a living room coloring book style wait for it to generate image generated successfully okay here we are now the image is loading and it loads so now we can draw so i'm going to get a larger brush size and draw something over here right now let's say we want to put a big dog here so i'm going to write a big dog and i'm going to press apply and then i get this error and i'm just going to take a screenshot of this and bring this to lovable so it's starting to work we just got to slowly debug with lovable but i i can i can smell the the or i can feel the results coming right so let's just get this so once um once i apply the changes in the in painting i get this once i apply and submit i get this so let me just submit that and see what we get now so um it did work i added a living room and in the simpsons style so it looked like this and then i brushed a little area over here and put a dog and it turned out like this so i'm just took i just took a screenshot of that and the result of the impainted image does not show. Um, so just send that and let's try to figure that out. So it's basically working with the inpainting uh, functionality, right? With the brush and the eraser and all of that, but we don't really have a, you know, a visible result. So I'm doing this, I put a cat, brush this. Let's just cross our fingers to see if this works. It's still processing. And apart from inpainting, I mean, there's outpainting as well. Um, there's this background removal, which might be good, you know, if you're trying to generate different Simpsons characters and make a poster, I don't know. Uh, my initial idea with this was to create like a little coloring book um, that might be, you know, about some certain topic, right? So uh, I just wanted to share this tool with you guys, runware.ai. Check it out. You can have this free trial. I've used a bunch of the credits. I'm almost done, basically. And um, yeah, uh, Please write down in the in the description in the in the comments below what you've made and if you want to use my you know this lovable uh project um, i have a link to this to the remix link in the description below if you guys want to use it and kind of reiterate on your own and and add your own features add your own design and so on so um hope you guys enjoy this video uh, thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day Bye bye